DigiKey and Adafruit present. This week's Ion MPI is from Intel called RealSense. This is the new RealSense camera from Intel. Very exciting depth technology. I think you have a real sense of what this is. I have a real sense of how real this is. This is cool. So it's it's from a group at Intel called Real Sense. And this is actually an NPI that you came up with. I don't know if you remember, but you sent this to me. And you said, this yeah. is really cool. This is from like, you know, uh, earlier or late last year. And yeah. uh, I booked an order and it didn't show up till now. But now you can get it on DigiKey. So I thought this would be make it for a great NPI. So this camera is this little like round puck. It's like, you know, like it's smaller than a can of tuna fish. And um, it has an RGB camera as well as a LiDAR camera. And it's got like extremely high resolution. Um, the depth camera is 1024 by 768. And the RGB camera is 12, uh, sorry, 1920 by 1080. So it's a very high resolution dual camera with a simple USB interface. There's a this really cool exploded view um, that shows you um, in the front there's the RGB camera, then behind it then there's a LiDAR. There's a control board. The control board has an IMU on it as well that you can uh, get data from. Uh, I think it's the BMI085, uh, so it's an IMU from Bosch. It's a nice IMU that we, we like their family of sensors. It's in this uh, metallic uh, tin can. It doesn't have a fan on it. There's no moving parts other than, of course, the, the LiDAR um, itself. And um, it's fully integrated and comes ready to go. I mean, you basically just plug it into USB, you run their software, and that's me. Uh, that's the depth field. You can see blue is closer, red is farther. You can see my wall and my, my LiDAR shadow uh, where it can't see uh, behind me. That's cool. And it just worked. And it was like full, you know, 30 or 60p, uh, sorry, um, frame per second. It's like a it's like a smaller high end programmable connect when when people remember that right yeah it, like it's that. just basically like really easy to use it shows up as two cameras um, you can see at the top there's the depth camera and the RGB camera so you can connect them with any camera input um, and I did I just opened up like the Windows camera app and I um, connected and you can see the depth data is is just it comes in on the green channel and it just tells you um, the the depth of data. Uh, overlaid with um, the color info, I think. And then um, you can also export data from their application. So this is a uh, poly file. So it's, an art, uh, it's a 3D file. So it basically has like built-in 3D scanning capability, which is one of the things that uh, people can use it for. It should, could be great for robotics. Um, it could be good for machine learning. It could be good for um, 3D scanning, environmental sensing, all sorts of projects because it's so inexpensive. One of the things that I really liked about this camera is um, sometimes we get LiDARs and the, the support software is like really marginal, but the Intel RealSense has, website has a lot of really, really good information. They have um, example code snippets for common things that people want to do. It's like, okay, you're trying to get the depth data and correlate it. You want to convert it to millimeters. Here's code availability and... Um, you know, there's Python and C Sharp and, and JavaScript. They have basically code available in you know, every which way. And uh, they also have a GitHub repo with a library. So this is cool because, you know, when um, we worked on the Connect Hack project, which is like almost 10 years ago, it's close to 10 years ago, um, there was no library. There was no way to connect to uh, the Connect. We had to basically, you know, run a contest and hopefully somebody would write uh, libfreenect is what it was in the end or libfreeconnect where you would be able to get the depth and RGB data but that since there was only 640 by 480 now this is like you know uh, 768 or 1024 and um, it you know beautiful resolution very fast don't need anything special just comes out as as plain video data and then um, you can also get the IMU data so uh, check it out I think if you want to add a LiDAR with camera to any of your projects, whether it's machine learning or robotics or navigation or um, site scanning or 3D scanning or any time when you want to have you know more than one point of distance data. It's only a couple hundred bucks and it with great support, easy to use, 
has a USB-C port on the side. You just plug it in and you're ready to go. I'd say this is this is a pretty sweet design at a really good price. Available on DigiKey. That's right. You can order it tonight and have it tomorrow morning. Yeah. Check out the URL below. You can type that in to go straight to the... Yeah, you can uh, also just search for it on the site. And the we have a one minute and 30 second video from Intel. Let's play that. Okay. And that is this week's on MPI. All right, thanks everybody. Hi on MPI.